Hello friends, this video on reproduction in animals part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. Define asexual reproduction. Describe two methods of asexual reproduction in animals. So in asexual reproduction, only one parent is involved. So new organisms will develop from one parent. So there is no concept of male and female. So no distinction of sexes at all. But here the new individuals are going to be exactly identical to the parent. So they are going to be morphologically identical as well as genetically identical. It is a faster mode of reproduction as compared to sexual mode. That's because here there are not many factors involved. So it's just that the organism breaks to form more and more organisms. So the rate of reproduction is quite fast. Two methods would be, one would be fission. Here an organism splits to form two or more individuals. So if it splits to form two individuals, that is called binary fission. If it splits to form many individuals, that is called multiple fission. So binary fission is very commonly seen in amoeba as you can see in the picture. So this is one amoeba. So first of all, the nucleus divides into two. Now once the nucleus divides into two nuclei, then the cytoplasm also divides and we get two daughter cells which are exactly identical to the parent. The next method of asexual reproduction is budding. So here what happens is a bud develops, that is a small outgrowth develops on the body of the parent organism. This outgrowth gradually develops to form a new organism and then it detaches itself from the parent's body. So this outgrowth is termed as bud and as soon as the daughter develops completely, it separates away and the parent continues to exist. So this happens commonly in Hydra and East. Question number seven. In which female reproductive organ does the embryo get embedded? So where the embryo implantation takes place, where the baby will remain for nine months? Yes, absolutely, it's the uterus. Now, uterus has many qualities because of its flexibility. So normally it is like a small pouch. But when the baby comes in, you see, it can expand so much because of its muscular walls. So it, since it gives so much of flexibility, it also has this inner endometrium layers, which is vascular in nature. That is, they, they are richly supplied with blood vessels, so they can provide nourishment to the embryo. So because of all these advantages, uterus is the part where embryo gets embedded. Question number eight. What is metamorphosis? Give examples. So this is the transformation of young ones into adult which involves a lot of drastic changes. Now metamorphosis does not take place in all organisms. There are certain organisms where we see that their young ones look very different from the adult form. So their metamorphosis take place. So one such example is the life cycle of a frog where we see that in its initial stages it is a tadpole which looks so different but when it grows up it becomes a frog. So so these drastic changes which lead to the transformation of a tadpole into frog is called metamorphosis. So similar kind of concept is seen in case of silkworm as well. Question number 9. Differentiate between internal fertilization and external fertilization. Internal means inside, external means outside. So internal fertilization occurs inside the female body. External fertilization occurs in an external medium, for example, water in case of the aquatic animals. In internal fertilization, less number of eggs are produced. So if you talk about human beings, the number of eggs produced is one. Normally, one egg is produced every 28 days. But in case of external fertilization, huge number of eggs are produced. In fact, if you talk about frogs, there are hundreds of, in hundreds, eggs are produced. But since the eggs are not much protected in this case, some of these are eaten by other animals. Some of these get destroyed due to adverse climatic conditions. So, end of the day, lesser number of eggs remain. But in this case, even though only one egg is produced, but it is well protected inside the body. So, the chances of its destruction is very less. 
Here fertilized egg is more protected even after fertilization. The zygote which is formed that remains protected and the development takes place. But here the fertilized egg is also less protected. That also might get eaten by somebody or it might get spoiled. So the risk is more in case of external fertilization and the protection is more in case of internal fertilization. Question number 10. So we have a crossword here and we have to finish it with the help of all these examples. So let us first look at the across hints. Number one, here is number one. The process of fusion of gametes. So male gamete and female gamete fuse together. What is that process? Something starting with F. Yes, fertilization. So this is fertilization. Number six, where do we have number six here? The type of fertilization in hen. Now in hen, which type of fertilization happens? That is fusion. So where the fusion happens in hen? Hen, they lay eggs, but the eggs are formed inside their body, right? So that means the fusion between the gametes would have taken place inside the body. So it is internal fertilization. Number seven. This is number seven. The term used for bulges observed on the sides of the body of Hydra. So if you look at Hydra, what are the outgrowth that you see in, see in Hydra? This is how Hydra looks like, right, with its tentacles. So the small outgrowth which you see here on the side of its body, what is that outgrowth? That is nothing but bud. So this is bud. So you can write it as bud. So this is a mode of asexual reproduction for hydra. Number eight, eggs are produced here. So in human beings, where are eggs produced? In the ovary. So this is going to be ovary. Now let us look at the down. Number two, this is number two. Sperms are produced in this male reproductive organ. So where are sperms produced in male? In testis. So this is testis. Number three, another term for the fertilized egg. So once the egg gets fertilized by the sperm, it is called zygote. So this is going to be zygote. Number four, here we have number four. These animals lay eggs. So such animals are called oviparous. Example of oviparous would be a hen because they lay eggs. They do not give birth to their young ones directly. And finally, number five. A type of fission in amoeba. In amoeba, which type of fission takes place? There are two types of fission. One is binary fission, the other one is multiple fission. So in amoeba, we see that the parent organism breaks into two halves like this. So this is binary fission. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on reproduction in animals would have helped you to understand how exactly reproduction takes place. Mostly I have taken the example of human beings so that it is good that at this age you know how exactly the process of reproduction takes place. So I hope this would have helped you and see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.